Hey guys, this is my go-to strategy for Simri Brightblade, so if you'd like to see how I defeat my NPC, then please keep on watching. Firstly, I'm a little depressed that the animation has changed. But other than that, let's get to it. So it's a little bit dark. Let's see if I can change that a little. It's a little better. Alright. So this is the strategy that I'll be using, the Blossoming Ancient, which is a store pet from the Blizzard shop. Poison Branch, Photosynthesis, Stun Seed. Next is the Dark Moon Tonk from the Dark Moon Fair. I'll be using the Missile, the Minefield, and the Iron Cannon. Third is my leveling pet. Level 1s are safe to use. Uh, this is just the next one that I wanted to level. So let's try this out. A new Bellore Delinar. Time is of the essence. So before I forget, put on your safari hat. The eternal sun guides us. And let's do this. Okay, so this is a team that I first came up with during the Warlords of Draenor beta and I've been using it ever since. I do love this team because, mainly because of the Blossoming Ancient, you get to see all four seasons over the course of the year. Starting off with Stun Seed. Poison Branch. And Photosynthesis. So the voodoo figurine will get stunned here and switch in the lantern. So what you want to do is hit the lantern with one poison branch. That's all you need to do. Switch in your tonk. Hit him with two missiles. Because what you want to do is get him below the default 732 damage for the Iron Cannon. So here comes the second missile. And because the Wish actually procs at the end of a turn, you have to make sure you kill him off here, which is easily done. There you go. So when Voodoo comes back, you have to wait until you finish recovering, should be at the end of this next move, and then drop Minefield. Hit Missile. You'll only get to throw one out before you get killed on this next turn. So you can either hit missile or pass, doesn't really matter. So when it's back to your Blossoming Ancient, you're going to repeat the same rotation, starting with Stun Seed. Poison Branch. Photosynthesis. going to get stunned again and because it has dark rebirth happening then he will deplete his health on the back line which is perfect so here you can just keep hitting poison branch because you still have a few there he goes with the dark rebirth you still have photosynthesis going on your end so you don't need to reapply it doesn't do any bonus or anything so just keep the poison branch going you can see he's doing his little heal on his end which is why you want to reapply the stun seed so this is slightly different to the solo battle that i have up on the channel as to when I switch in my leveling pit. 
So what I like to do is switch him in when he gets stunned on this seed here. So my photosynthesis has just dropped off. This is why I like to switch in my leveling pet here. The only thing is sometimes you might get a nice crit and you don't get a chance to switch in your leveling pet. So ordinarily I would switch back to my Blossoming Ancient to take that big hit at the end. But because my uh, little Murloc had quite a bit of health, I just left him in. So there you go, that is my go-to strategy. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.